Hello everyone, today is going to be a special video because I received this Japanese booster box from a close friend. Uh, the second place finisher at the World Championships this year, Daichi Shimada, ended up giving me this booster box as a gift from Japan. So I am definitely going to be giving him something when we go back to Yokohama for Worlds. So without further ado, I was going to crack it for the channel and see what kind of pulls we get. Um, this one's for him, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm going to do this off camera because I'm struggling. but. This one's for him, and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, check out his channel, I will link it in the description below, as well as, uh, as well as just tag him in the, I think I can tag people in the title now. So we will go ahead and do that as well. So we are opening up the Palkia set, which is actually kind of cool because my group is known for playing Palkia. Um, I think I already opened a couple of these, but we're gonna see what we get here. Temple of Sinnoh. Hey, Reggie Drago, this guy was in my world's deck. Um, so we're just gonna kind of crack these packs, see what we get. Um, hopefully we get something crazy good so I can report back to Daichi and be like, hey, thank you for the gift. But yeah, uh, one of the coolest parts about worlds for me is meeting all the international players. And hey, this guy was also in my world's deck. Um, is meeting all the international players and having a good time with them because it's not something that I can often do. And yeah. Oh, there's a Palkia V, one of the best cards in this set. Um, un undisputedly, like one of the most insane cards, uh, and will probably be one of the kings of the format until it rotates. So Palkia is one of those cards. Uh, but for me, like I said, going to Worlds is a cultural experience where I can meet a lot of people from different uh, parts of the world, actually enjoy a hobby together. There's a Beatrice V. Um, and I mean, this year's Worlds was really special because it was the first one back in a very long time. So I was able to see a lot of amazing people um, and it really felt like something special. And even though I didn't perform nearly as well as I wanted, I ended up having a really good time with everybody and um, got a lot of, you know, like pent up not frustration, but like excitement and stuff out of my system. So now when we go to Yokohama, I think it'll be doubly special because Japan is a trip that I've always been wanting to make. Um, and this, uh, and over the pandemic actually, this March before Pokemon came back, I had originally slotted to go with some friends from school. And we had booked tickets and everything because we found super cheap deals. Um, and, the, and Japan was offering really cheap tickets during the pandemic time period to get travelers to come through. Oh, and a rainbow Irida. Wow. Look at that. Oh, the hollow is insane. It's actually kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm a huge fan of this rainbow Irida. Um, Irida, another one of the most insane supporters in this set. Um, we are basically pulling the Palkia shell here. Kind of crazy to get one of the probably best cards. Um, that is a secret, so. I don't know if we can expect anything better than that. Okay, Cleavor, a card that I was hoping would be better, but it's uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty bad. <laughs> um, but uh, at this rate, I will be able to play. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think going to Japan will be really cool. I have a lot of things that are really interesting things I want to try out. If you are, what what are some things you guys in the comments would are on your like Japan bucket list uh, stuff to do? Because I have a couple things I want to do. Uh, but obviously I want to take recommendations. I think when I go to the event, it will be a multi-week event for me. I think I'll do like the week of Japan, going to Worlds, experiencing Worlds, enjoying that part, and then spending two weeks exploring uh, Japan as well. I think it'll be a big experience. I think this is in Lost Origin, actually, the Dark Ride. Uh, I don't think I saw this in, in this set, in Astro Radiance. I opened a lot of Astro Radiance, actually. Another Temple of Sinnoh. This pack looks very identical to the first pack we opened, actually. Let's see what this box brings us. There's a Golduck, Hisuian Heavy Ball, Voltorb, and the Oxy. Um, I think the hits from this are mostly the Palkia cards and maybe Azulf. I think this is also in Lost Origin. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to make this short and sweet for you guys. Uh, I will be continuing uh, any content stuff. There's another Irida 
giving us two Iridas to work with, Kamala. Uh, one of my dreams also is to, like when I'm in Japan, play like a Champions League or something of that nature. It was one of my goals when I went out in March this year. Um, obviously I didn't go, so none of that came true, but it would have been something magical had I done that. I want to play Pokemon in as many different regions as I possibly can, just to have fun with it. Uh, another place I want to do is Korea. I also want to do, um, like go to European cups, not cups, I guess, but like, I don't know, like old school European nationals or something of that nature would have been really fun, I think. Uh, now I think we have ICs to kind of supplement these regions that I already see, like Europe, LAIC, OCIC, like I get to have these experiences already. So I want to go to a region that I don't typically get that experience from. Lotto and Drago. This guy was clutch in a world stack. For the few rounds I got to actually survive. Um, the box is, I was going to say dying down, but there's a Hisuian Sneasler V. Basically just this guy, but bigger. Um, this card is depressingly bad. Uh, I, I wish it had like some semblance of playability, but uh, it is like horrendously, horrendously bad. Um, these five cards are really good so far, actually. The Rainbow Irida is something to absolutely write home about. Like that's an insane pull. And we're getting something else here. It's the Heatran VMAX. Um, this is probably one of the worst VMAXs I have seen. I am, I am for one, very, very glad that VMAXs are going out of rotation. I think that VMAXs are more like interesting in their design, but they all have these like really vanilla attacks and they're just big beefy bodies. And so it just became like a typing war. Like we were basically just swinging types at each other and I don't really know what the whole purpose of that kind of was at the end of the day. Um, like I feel like we could have just done better uh, with that kind of stuff. Uh, it just, the meta, yeah. I'm hoping Yaxes does something. Regice, Kamala. It's weird that like there's no like Rev Hollow in these packs. Um, also, I missed something. No, I did not miss something. There's no rev hollows. These are just um, either hollows or they are three things. There might be radiance in here too, I think. Uh, there's the orang guru. I thought this Voltorb would also be really good um, for a little bit, with like stuff like Dialga. Um, but I, I actually was sorely mistaken. This card was a little bit too slow to see play. But we do have orang guru, one of our clutch masters here. We are left with four packs, if you guys. Uh, I don't know if we'll see anything else. We've already had a secret. So uh, we're just looking for, oh, that's the third Drago, dude. I literally am pulling like a full Reggie deck from this half. Um, but if you guys are enjoying these kinds of box openings, please let me know. I, I'm not privy to buying and getting Japanese products sent over to myself um, and opening it. Uh, but I don't, I don't typically like to film pack openings because I am really bad at knowing what to say. Uh, during them, so uh, it just feels strange rambling to myself. But um, last pack of this set, I think. Yeah. Uh, so let's see if there is some last pack magic in here. And there is a Cleavor V to send us off at the end of this box opening. So not necessarily the best hits by any means. But we did get eight hits, which is actually pretty insane, I think, for how many packs there were. We got a Cleavor, an Orangru, a Heatran, a Sneasler, a Cleavor V-Star, this beautiful Rainbow Irida, this Beedrill, and this Palkia. So once again, thank you to Daichi for the box. Um, next year when I come over there, I gotta give him something sweet, maybe some Pokemon cards for sure, some snacks. Um, I don't know. I, I need to. I need to do better because I'm going over to a really cool place. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, hopefully do some more pack openings in like a speedy. I don't know. This this might have been fast enough. I might have been a little slow. Who knows? But thank you guys. Appreciate it.